Hello, everyone. This is Mary Keurig from Front Runners Innovate and also Front Runners Development Inc. And myself, Dr. Anna Mika from the Sub Saharan o uh, Open University in Nigeria, uh, who is not present right now, but hopefully will join us later. Um, are the sort of hosts for the Daughters Global Youth Mentoring, Girls Mentoring Program, and uh, it's leadership oriented. And as such, we decided to put together a project this year that was, uh, that was all about pulling together girls from all around the world, 14 to 18 years old, and gathering poems from them that would be something that would be meaningful to them. And the two producers of the, the project are Namara Lawanza and Shatali Sina. And those two young ladies are with us now because this is an official presentation to the Youth Gather Global organization that has to do with youth development and youth leadership. And uh, this, is, this is all meant to be a gift to the United Nations on the day of the girl child. So it's honoring and celebrating those girls around the world uh, who decided to put together their thoughts, their feelings, their fears, their, their wins, uh, and everything that they thought about being a girl around the world uh, in today's time. And so we have been working on it almost all year long, and it's now culminated into a project that we're ready to pass forward to Youth Gather, who will pass it to the United Nations on this auspicious occasion. So uh, I have with me the whole crew, <laughs> minus Dr. Hanamika for right now, uh, that put this, this thing together. And so we want to, to start with Namara Lawanza to get her comments on what it was like for her to participate as a producer. Namara. Oh, um, hi everyone. I'm Namara. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of this meeting. Um, I was a co-producer of the Daughters Global Poetry Booklet, and I think being a part of this whole project was very important to me and it, because of three main things. And I think it's basically because me being a poet myself and enjoying the process of writing, it was fun for me to see girls from all around the world writing poems and talking about things that were important to them. I feel as though everyone's going through something and getting to see that things that people are going through in writing and seeing how they deal with their, their things, things that are in their hearts and how they talk about them was very interesting. And just the fact that it's a book that has well, poems from people from all over the world, from different continents, seeing their cultures, the things they do was extremely amazing for me. It was really actually surreal because we also have some poems in French and also it was fun for me to see like how people write in different languages because I, I only write in English. So seeing yeah. poems in other languages and how people express their feelings in other languages was literally like, it was an amazing thing. So that's what I have. So uh, her co-conspirator in this whole effort, <laughs> her co-partner is uh, Shitali Sina out of India. And Shitali, you are how old and where in India and where are you going to school? Uh, so from I am uh, I'm from Ahmedabad city in uh, Gujarat state of India and I just turned 18 and uh, I also joined my college recently. I am studying in GLS University of Design and uh, yeah this is me. I'm also a poet so <laughs> yeah. You are and indeed. about this booklet, producing this booklet was very exciting and beneficial for me. Uh, through this booklet, I learned many things such as uh, coordination, collaboration, and many more. Uh, after reading different poems from different poets all over the world, I came to know about various perspectives or uh, various point of views of women's life. Uh, it also helped me to improve on my poetry skills and sketching skills. Uh, I have sketched the, all the doodles uh, in the poetry booklet and it was really a brainstorming activity for me <laughs> to read each and every poem. And then after that, uh, thinking about the doodles and then sketching it. So yeah, it was really helpful for me. Also, it was my first experience to write a joint poem with my co-producer Namara and really, I really enjoyed it. So for giving me this opportunity, I really would like to thank Mary Kure and Dr. Osuta Enamika. And also I would like to thank my parents, my mom and dad, they supported me. Even my mom helped me in designing these layouts and my father, uh, Mr. Dipeshtana, also supported me and uh, helped me in developing ideas. 
That's fantastic. You know, this was a family oriented event. Um, we have yeah. is Nomara's sister who did the cover. So Shonda, let's hear from you for a second about what it was like to, to develop a cover that had to be representative of so many different nations. Uh, okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm glad to have been a part of such a powerful project. Uh, I love art and design and being given the chance to create a meaningful and influential work of art that captures um, the essence of this whole project has been really fulfilling because uh, condensing a big project into one small work of art has been, was, was really challenging, but was also fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now, you're a student in Johannesburg, and how old are you? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Okay, yes. awesome. Thank you so much. Well, now we come to Shatali's mama, her mother, uh, Rapali. And Rapali, you are just like the kingpin of all of this and putting all the, the hard work together into a format that looks so wonderful. And we love your words. And then we'd love for you to show the hard copy version of this and then the digital version for everybody. So you have the floor, my dear. Yeah, it's an imagine feeling to be a part of this project and uh, work with all these creative people. And I'm really best wishes to all the poets of the new generation. I uh, for this uh, book I designed the layout of all the uh, layout of all the books for this uh, creative uh, girls and I also converted this traditional sketches which uh, Chitali made to into a digital format mm -hmm. uh, you, um, in uh, in the uh, booklet I saw I made a doll uh, or, uh, at the bottom of every page uh, mm -hmm. and it's a pink color so which depicts the innocence, good health, and the playfulness of girls. It shows the wonderful uh, wonder and creativity which the, this girl shows. So best wishes to all the poet of new generation. And thank you, Miss Mary Curie, for giving me this great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. You, you did a, an absolutely wonderful job. Everybody did to be applauded, including our poets from around the world. And I can't wait for them to see this. Now, if you will show us the hard copy version, the cover that you have there, and then we'll see the uh, digital version. There we go. There it is in hard copy form, uh, basically magazine format. And so the way that works is the the arrow to the right would help would have you flip the page just like it was in a magazine correct so show us how that works yes and there's the little icons at the bottom that you mentioned rapali that i love this poem is titled using your voice are you ever scared to pick up your voice so break the ice and make some noise you know it all you have the heart but you lack the words to help you start. You watch and hurt from deep within and say to yourself, I'll play violin. But violin alone sounds so sad, it makes you feel worse than bad. So the melody you create makes a tune that she'll sing to all afternoon. The words are formed into the melody and you have it, you've made a melody, a remedy. You wrote a song with all the things you'd never said. The lyrics were locked where the voice is locked in your head. And justice is something you wanted to fight, but you didn't know what was wrong or right. But the violin that you so dreadfully hated slowed the pain and had things mended. You know it all, you have the heart, you have the tune so you can start. Uh, so from here, my poem starts uh so who have courage to speak for them it stays at the peak anything have almighty have chosen you to change the world's view opinion of logical and correct head has power to uh, swap the stair you just need to kick the start watch right according to your heart <laughs> Start from the top of your voice before it becomes an unwanted voice. Every word of yours can't be a delivery, but for the best, something has to be magnified. It if all if we all speak it in one tone, 
and join body bone by bone our efforts will work through being strange together we all have made change for those for the ones with voices and those who lack let's come together and the world will attack so find your inner gifts for this world and take your seat as a girl on the throne of a better time where empowered girls are not a crime. Thank you all that were on. Appreciate it very much. And now it is officially presented to Youth Gather.